Are you ready to have some fun? Soccer poppers. Welcome to Let's Race. Yes. Mr. Oaks's The Gym Boss. Have you ever played bocce ball? No. Have you ever played curling? What a shot. Wow. No. Have you ever played shuffleboard? No. Well, get ready because today's lesson is inspired by all three. Welcome to Mr. Oaks's The Gym Boss, keeping you active with workouts and games that you can do right at home. I'll also bring you some tips and tactics to help keep us healthy, and of course, you can count on that we're going to have lots of fun. So go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll be bringing you many activities in the weeks to come. I'm excited. I hope you are too. So let's get started. The following is brought to you by Accelerated Screen Printing in Troy, Ohio, where their mission is to give customers a great ordering experience, great customer service, and most importantly, great quality products. Hey guys, I'm super excited and I have a major announcement for you. I just formed a new partnership with Accelerated Screen Printing in Troy, Ohio, and what this means for you is you will be able to win some official Gym Boss gear for completing the assignment. That's right, we will be giving away an official Gym Boss headband to one lucky student and one lucky staff member each week during the rest of our homeschool time. To enter this week's contest, go ahead and like this video and submit your own picture or video via Google Drive, email, or Google Classroom of yourself doing today's activity. This will enter you into the contest and we will pick a winner via random selection. And now, let's get back to today's lesson. Now at the beginning of this video, I told you that we'd be playing a game inspired by three games, bocce ball, curling, and shuffleboard. Now before we jump into the game, let's actually first knock out the standards. In today's standard, it's gonna be working on standard two. Now previously we worked on standard two and we talked about how that's game concepts. Game concepts like how to play a game, how to keep track of your score, your strategies, things like that. But also buried in standard two is also effort. And I'm not talking about effort like are you trying hard, more so like the speed. So for example, are you able to throw a ball fast? Then are you able to throw it slow? Can you run fast? And then can you run slow? On today's activity, we're gonna be pushing something or rolling something either faster or slower with more force or less force to score points. So that covers our learning objectives. So next we have the game set up and I've set up a few things that you could use. You could use a number of things um, and you could get creative as well if you don't wanna use these items, but we have uh, two sets of three paper plates and they're taped together in case you're gonna play this against somebody. You can also play this game, that, and I'll get ready to show it to you in a second, but you could play this game by yourself as well and just score points. But if you're playing with somebody else, we just taped two paper plates together, and with this side of the plates, we taped with white tape that we had, some masking tape, and then on that side, we taped those with duct tape, which that'll make more sense later, but it's just gonna help us differentiate and figure out who's uh, plates are which when we score. If you don't have paper plates, you could also use things like plastic um, bowls. Uh, definitely check with your parents though. Uh, obviously we've used our socks in the past, so we could still use socks again. That's always an option. Um, the plastic bowls that we have over here are kind of a tan color, and then on this side we had some plastic bowls that we, were, we could use as well, as well as different socks. Just so that you can differentiate who you're playing against. So we set those up here in the back, and we'll have a line that we cannot cross. We've also set up some water bottles, which this will make more sense here in a second when we show you how to play. The water bottles are kind of like our cones, which we've used in the past, and they are marking different areas. We're marking a one-point zone, which takes place if you push your item into this area here, you would get one point. It's also marking a two-point zone, which we made a little bit smaller. It's not quite as big as that zone. 
Um, this is the two point zone in case your item slides into that area. And it has a three point zone. Now if you are playing on carpet, we figured out that you can do this on carpet as well. But just keep in mind that you'll probably want to use the socks instead of the other things. You, you, depending on your carpet, uh, paper plates could probably slide as well on carpet, but they seem to slide better on hard surfaced flooring. So just keep that in mind for um, if you're playing this game. Next, we're gonna show you how to play it. All right, now that we have our game set up, uh, we're gonna show you how we're going to play it. Now we're gonna be using plates to start with, but just keep in mind you could use bowls. We had plastic bowls set out, and we'll show you some adaptations for that, as well as socks. Um, all these items will work well on the hard surface flooring. You could also obviously play on carpet, but if you are playing on carpet, I would suggest using the socks, and we'll show you an adaptation for that here in a second on a carpet flooring. But we're gonna go ahead and start playing on the uh, hardwood floor, so Allison, why don't you go ahead and grab your plates. And now we gotta see who's gonna go first. And in order to see who's gonna go first, we're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, I go first because scissors beats paper. So here's how we're gonna start. Again, we've been using our water bottles for our markers. Um, Allison, you said last time they could use anything, toys, stuffed animals, stuff like that. Um, but we're using water bottles and the first set of water bottles is what we're going to actually push from behind. So this is our foul line, we're not allowed to go past it. Our second set of water bottles represent the first zone scoring. In this area, if your plate lands in this area, you get one point. Our second set here um, would be two points. So if your plate lands anywhere in this area on the floor where this number two is, it would be two points. And then our third zone, um, number three, scoring three points, kind of keeping it similar to a previous lesson. We'll go ahead and keep the same scoring method. Three points would be in this area. This is the smallest area. Now, if any plate is on a line, like if it intersects where these bottles meet, you would go with the previous lowest point total. So right here, it's part on three, part on two, just give yourself two points. If it was back here and it was partially on two, partially on one, go ahead and give yourself one point. In the back, if it goes beyond the three point zone and you're past the cones, even if it's just touching it, or in this case, the water bottle, zero points. It has to be right here in the middle. It cannot be anywhere across that line. And if it's behind this line, we're gonna go two points. So we're just making our three point line hardest to achieve. Now we're gonna be playing the 21 points total. Um, we played 21 points in our last game. So I thought we'd keep that same scoring method just to have a little bit of continuity from lesson to lesson. And we're gonna play so that we have to actually get 21 points exactly. If you go over, again, go back to 13, just like we did before. So I'm going first and I'll get started. Looks like maybe a two-pointer. So now it's Allison's turn. I'll get out of the way and give her some space. Nice, so that's a one-pointer. And we'll count up our points at the total at the end. And we'll actually need to do some math there as well. It's kind of nice to have a little math in our game. So my turn again. Ooh, I may have knocked yours a little bit further. Now one thing we are doing is we're um, learning a little bit about force. Pushing with more force, pushing with less force. Again, one of our learning objectives in standard two. Okay, and this is your last one. And we'll see how many points we have. Ooh, so let's go check it out up here. So, come on up. You have one point here plus another one point. This one here is on the line still, so we said if it's on the line, it would go to one as well, right? So that's three total points. I have a two, I have a two, I have another two, so I have six. However, you have three. So we're, what we're going to do is we're gonna subtract, do a little bit of subtraction. I would have had six, she would have three, six minus three would be three points for me. I currently have three points, then you have zero. All right. So we're gonna alternate turns. Since I went first last round, you're gonna go first this round. Okay. 
Nice, that's a two pointer. Now there is also a way to play this by yourself. If you're going to play it by yourself, just play to 21 points and then try not to go over 21. If you did go over 21, you would go back to 13 and work your way up. Well, you could do the exact same thing by yourself. Ooh, that'll be close. Of course, it's much more fun to play with other people sometimes. So if, this would also be a good way to get your family involved. A nice one. Oh, one other thing. There's another way you can play with a blocker. Now we're using these um, water bottles still. You can actually go ahead and get your Frisbee. But we had more water bottles. These are bottles that we've been using after we drink um, the water out of them. We've been saving them to use them as markers. Again, you could use a number of things, toys, stuffed animals. However, when you get to your last paper plate, right before you throw it, the person that you're playing against, if you are playing with against somebody, they can use a blocker, which would be a way to block your opponent from scoring. So I'm gonna put this blocker out here in a strategic lo location. I'm gonna put it right here. And then Allison also has a blocker. Allison, do you want to use your blocker? You would use the blocker on your very last turn. So go ahead and put that somewhere strategically. Then this also has accuracy involved in doing this. And strategy, which is also uh, game concepts in uh, standard two. I think you gave me a little bit of a lane right down there I can get into. Maybe, if I'm accurate enough. Maybe. Ooh, let's go count them up. So I had three previously, right? You have one. Remember, we marked the paper plates a little differently. You could even take a marker if you want to. Put like letters so you know whose paper plate is whose. So there's one for you. Plus two, so you got three total. Plus a three, so you got six total. Me. So just remember, you have six, okay? I have two. I definitely have a three here. I like to play fair. I want you to check this one out. Tell me if this last one's on the line. Um, I don't think it's on the line. It's really close, but it's not. So you think I should get those points? Yeah. All right, three plus three, which is six, plus another two is eight. And what did you have again? Six. So go ahead and grab yours. Okay. So you had six points, so... Um, eight and then subtract six, that would mean I got two points that round. So then previously I had three, so three plus two equals five, five total points. All right, Allison, let's show them um, a little different way to play. I mean, we'll keep our same score, but let's show them the, uh, the bowl method. In case you don't have paper plates, you can use plastic bowls. We're gonna set these paper plates aside. We're gonna pick up our bowls. Now in this case, we've got similar sized bowls and they'll slide a little differently and we have different colored bowls. Oh, and we need to get our blockers. <laughs> if you are playing with blockers, you don't have to, but if you are playing with blockers, put those in uh, the very last turn that you have. All right, so now that we're using our bowls, um, let's see, who went first last time? Okay. You, so it'd be my turn again. And we have five to zero at this point. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll try this. Okay, you're up. Nice. Uh, I'm noticing we're having to push with a little bit more force now that we have some different objects. Again, that's good learning though. Sometimes you have to, to use more force, sometimes less force. Oh, are you wanting to use the blocker on me? Yeah, I forgot about that. So this is where strategy comes into play. She's thinking about where is she going to set that to potentially block my attempt. I actually think that was smart because that was where I was going to go. But you still gave me a little bit of a lane, so we'll see. Okay, now I gotta use my blocker. Um, I'm gonna put it right here.
Ah, pretty good though. If you do knock down a bottle, just pick it back up. That'll happen. We filled ours back up with water to give them a little bit of weight. If you're using that again, you can use a number of things. Let's go see how many points we got. Looks like we're all in the one point zone. So that means everything would cancel out because you've got three, I've got three, three minus three equals zero. All right, let's take our items back and don't forget your blocker. All right, want to use the socks this round? Show them a little different. Put our bowls away. And we'll get our socks. All right, uh, I went first last round. That means you're going first this round. Nice. That was good. It's like a two is for me too, maybe. Ah, so your door to, to get in here and get some points. Nice. No. I'm, I definitely don't, those two over there are too far. So, and I think this one's on the two. You check though, double check, make sure. If you are playing somebody and you have an opponent, always have them look at your score. That way it makes you, you you'll play fair that way. So you do think that's a two? Yeah. I think these two for you are ones, and this is definitely a two. So you got one plus one is two, plus another two is four. I had two, so you had four minus my two. That means you are on the board with two points. All right, let's pick up our items. So what do we have? Five to, uh, five to two now? Yeah. All right, let's show the carpet example real quick. So all I'm gonna do, let's leave those right there. And I'm gonna just take these water bottles. Allison, will you get those two water bottles on the end? And we're just gonna make it over here a little bit closer. Right here, we'll just make it on the actual carpet itself, on the rug. So take those. And then would you, let's have you put your items, your Frisbee bowls, put them over here and then we'll bring mine over. Now if you are playing on a carpet, like we're getting ready to do, um, you're gonna be rolling the ball or rolling the sock. Seems like it worked best with, when, with the roll. And if you can't get these to stand up, it really doesn't matter. You can always just drop them down, having a hard time getting them to stand up, so just drop them down. Our points are still the same. Same scoring zones. And it's just on carpet now. It's okay. Little carpet, a little bit of hard surface. Now we'll throw from back here, and we'll roll. And now, instead of sliding it, we're now playing with force, in this case, rolling it harder or rolling it softer. And then you'll be able to play with distance that way. Is it my turn? And it's five to two, right? Okay. I think that's a zero. You're up. Nice. I think I've got some got some points there. Ooh, that's a three-pointer for sure. Oh, I forgot the blocker, but that's okay. Another three-pointer. And we're not allowed to go to over 21 points, too, once we get, get up there. We'll have to play with that. Nice try. Let's go count them up. So this round, let's see. I actually think, are all these on the line, would you suggest? So that would mean zero for that round. Um, this one's a three, three, and would you say a two? Yeah. Okay, so three plus three plus two is eight. And so I would add eight points to my, previously my five points. So what are we looking at? You have any ideas? Eight plus five? Uh, Third grade math? 13. Correct, so 13 points and um, we're gonna finish our game. I hope you get a chance to do this game. I hope you get a chance to enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Gym Boss here, and we'll see you next week.
You've just watched Mr. Oaks's The Gym Boss, keeping you active with games and activities that you can do right at home. We hope you enjoyed today's show and got some healthy tips, advice, or exercise to help with your healthy living goals. We'll see you next time.